we are going to use Excel in order to find the mean standard deviation and then apply that to the empirical rule. So recall that Excel is just a large calculator. So if I want to find the mean of this set of numbers, I'm first going to go into an empty cell. And since I have this already set up, you can see that I have a blank space next to the mean. So in this cell, I'm going to go up to Formulas. And if you want the, the mean, it's under the More Functions Statistical, and you can see this average. Now, there's a number of ways you could do this. You could just type in equals average, but uh, it's nice to know where the formulas are located as well. Now, you can see it says A2 to C2, and that's not what I want. I want A1 to A15. So you can see how I just I clicked and dragged my mouse, but you can also simply write in A1 colon A15. That would also work. When I hit OK, it gives me the mean of 15.38. Now I'm going to do the same thing for standard deviation. More functions, statistical, but now I'm going to go down to the standard deviation. And you can see we have a lot of things that are standard deviation-like. Because I have a sample here, I'm going to use stepdev.s because this is a sample. So I click this, and again, I'm going to highlight the data points in question and hit Enter. So you can see I have my standard deviation. Now I'm going to go ahead and shorten that up to just two decimal places to stay consistent with my mean. If you wanted it to be more, by using this button up top, you can uh, move that as well. Same thing for the mean, if you wanted it to be more decimal places. Okay, so now that I have my mean and standard deviation, I can apply this to the empirical rule. So recall in statistics, the empirical rule tells us that 68% of our data falls within one standard deviation of the mean, 95% is two standard deviations from the mean, and 99.7% of the data is within three standard deviations of the mean. So for the lower bound, that means we are going to take our mean and we are going to subtract our standard deviation because 68% is within one standard deviation. So if I subtract one standard deviation, I have the lower bound, and to find the upper bound, I simply add a standard deviation. So 68% of our data will fall between 13.16 and 17.6. Now for 95%, we are two standard deviations from the mean. So now I'm going to subtract two standard deviation. So you can see how I multiplied two times the standard deviation. Uh, let's go ahead and shorten that up to stay consistent. And to go higher, we're going to take our mean and we are going to add two times the standard deviation. And again, you might say, why are we getting all these decimals? Well, Excel keeps everything exact. So even though we round it, it still keeps things exact. So, okay, now we're going to go three standard deviations. So I'm going to take my mean and I'm going to subtract three times our standard deviation. Let's go ahead and shorten that up. And we're going to take our mean and we are going to add three times the standard deviation. And so now we have our listings of 95% of our data will be between 10.95 and 19.81, and 99.7% of our data falls between 8.73 and 22.03. You'll notice um, I have no numbers less than 8.7, and I have nothing greater than 22 in my data set. So we, I mean, 99.7% is almost all of the data, um, and in our particular case, that is all of our data. So that's just uh, using Excel to find the mean standard deviation and applying it to the empirical rule.